Hello, today we're going to be taking a look at what is new in Visual Studio 2013 and we're going to be focusing on the new features within Team Builds. As I log into my TFS 2013 environment, I do have Visual Studio 2013 open. In the home page, you can see that there's new icons here to help us navigate. So let's click on Builds and in this menu not much has changed, but except for this one little icon over here in the corner that I want to point out. Just click on that, and what that does is that unlocks it from there. And I can then check in some pending changes, do some other work that I may want to have, be able to, to run my builds, be able to close that out, come back over to my home page, and navigate right to my builds. I want to dive into the changes within the build definitions themselves. If I look at the process and look at the default templates, right away you can see that the build process parameters view has changed. In here we have TFS version control and it has and all these the two the two activities within that. The builds, the tests, the publish symbols and events which has the agent settings in the build format. As we dive a little deeper in here, in the advanced section, one new item is we can now run pre and post build scripts and pass the arguments right from the default template. In this case, I have this, I have the PowerShell script here. I have it checked into source control. I could have called another PowerShell script from another folder and be able to run that to, to run a series of scripts from there or a series of other batch files past the parameters that I need to have. If I do have it from another folder I do need to remember to map the, exec, the workspace for that. We also have this feature within the test so now we can actually run pre and post scripts for that too. Publishing the symbols are the same, formatting uh, the build number, but they have all been broken out into a very simple, nice view. One thing you might see that the actual logging uh, verbosity settings has is not existent here. To take a look at all the different logging or the, the actual details of a build itself, we wait till the build is finished and we can look, click on the diagnostic page. We do view build. From here we see all the activities that the build has gone through. And we if we kind of dive down here, you can see that that PowerShell script down here by the bottom. We see that the PowerShell script has ran as expected. I can also download this particular log file and send it off to whomever needs it to debug it if I need to. I can get the logs, summary, and all the other features to be able to view to see exactly what's happened in the build itself. This has been a quick little overview of one of the new features within Team Build for Visual Studio 2013 and TFS 2013. Have a great day.